This video is about headstand and uh, it's great for beginners but as the video continues the more difficult it becomes. And those of you who are new here please don't forget to subscribe and hit the subscribe button. Hi, I'm Al from yogagangia.co.za and you are at the right place if you want to heal your body and mind with yoga. Headstand. Now let's first, before we start, talk about um, who should take caution doing this pose. So if you obviously, if you have severe neck injuries or neck problems or spinal problems or high blood pressure or any heart um, disease, severe heart disease uh, or uh, any eye disease as well because you can imagine you're upside down so all the blood runs from your legs to this area of your body. So a lot of pressure starts to build up in your head and in your eyes. Uh, the longer obviously you are upside down. So if you have any severe problems, ear, um, eyes, brain, neck, in this area, spine, uh, rather um, stay away from this. Okay, but the benefits, those of you who can do it, the benefits are great. It revitalizes you and it relieves anxiety. So uh, it is really, really a great pose to practice. But don't worry, those of you who can't be in a headstand, anything that you are upside down will give you the same effect, like a forward fold. And this is great for beginners. Beginners, you will start with a forward fold to get the sensation of your head being lower than your body. So, or a um, down dog. Down dog is also a very good pose to practice to give you the sensation of your head being lower than your heart and lower than your pelvis okay if you're not used to that so first start with that to get that feeling okay so we've got all that covered um, so let's start so let's come into Vajrasana and from here we're gonna take baby steps uh, the first step is to place your elbows under your um, shoulders. So to do that, you can just clasp, get hold of your elbows, then you know it is shoulder width, and you place it on the mat. Okay, and then your hands, you clasp together. So you got the width, clasp the hands together, place them on the floor. You're gonna fit your head in this. So you're gonna fit your head in there. And you're gonna, we're gonna stand on this part of the head. Take away all head clips or anything that can hurt you on your head, okay? So first, elbows under shoulders, clasp hands, place it on the mat. Then you bring your head on to the mat. like this and from here you can stay here to first have the sensation of being upside down if you want to take it further you tuck your toes under and you slowly bring your buttocks up in the air here now when you're here you need to know that the majority of the weight is on your forearms. It's not on the head. The head takes about 40% or less weight and the forearms takes the majority of the weight. So when you're comfortable here, you can lift one leg and get a feeling of how it feels. Bring it down and the other leg and bring it down you can just stay here this is will give you the same effect and you'll feel revitalized and relaxed just by doing this bring your knees down stay down bring your head down 
arms next to the side in child's pose. Never come up immediately after your head's been down for a long time. And when you feel comfortable, then you can slowly come up. That is for beginners. Now when you feel comfortable with that stage of the headstand, you can continue. Okay, so we're going to go to the next stage. So, elbows under shoulders, clasp hands, place not this part of your head, not this part, the toppy top part of your head on the mat. Rise up. So you're comfortable here, you can bring the one knee into the chest. And when you, and then you can play with your toes and you can feel your balance on your head and your forearms. And when you find it, you can lift the other leg as well. And you can come back down. Lift, use your abdominal muscles, up and down. Just play around here. When you're comfortable with that, then you can balance yourself more on the forearms. You can bring both knees in and stay here. When you're comfortable here, you can bring the knees up slowly. And when you're comfortable here, you can slowly straighten your legs and you in headstand. In the beginning you might hold it for 10 seconds and then when you come back, come back the way you went up. Bend the knee slowly, keep your balance, bring it into the chest and down. Stay down in child's pose. Let the blood run back to your body from the head. When you feel comfortable, slowly bring up the head and head comes up last. So that is the second phase or third phase. And then when you feel good and you have your balance, your neck's getting stronger, um, you can take it another level up where you don't bend your legs, you keep your legs straight and you use your abdominal muscles and you pull up all the way into headstand. And you also start maybe with 10 seconds and then you increase the time with 20 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute and so on. Okay, and it doesn't mean you have to hold it for one minute or five minutes. If 10 seconds is your goal and it gives you what you need, then 10 seconds it is. Okay, work according to your body, not someone else's. Okay, so now we're gonna go with straight legs. You must use your abdominal muscles. You need experience, you need your balance. Before we continue, if you ever decide to try and go up, even with the knees bent, Make sure there's a wall behind you. If you fall over that side, you can kick against the wall. Or even better, make sure there's a wall on that side of you and there's another person next to you who can help you if you do fall, okay? If you are in, in, really in the beginning of this process. Um, and another point I want to give you is make sure there are no furniture or pets or things around you if you do fall that you don't hurt yourself or them okay so now you have your wall on that side you maybe you have a person a friend next to you um, and you're ready to go up so you can all go up with the knees bent or with straight legs we're gonna do straight legs now so arms ready clasp place the head straighten the legs Walk the tippy toes as close as you can and then keep the legs straight. Go up slowly, always with control. Don't kick, never kick up. And 
and here you can hold it for the time that you need for today when you're ready with control as much control as you've got bring it down whoa slowly and some days are better than others knees down child's pose when you've rested slowly come up very good and that is headstand I would suggest you take step by step take it easy make sure you don't hurt yourself now the end result is to have more pressure on the pressure points on the head when your neck is stronger from doing it for some time but personally I think you have enough pressure on the pressure points on your head by keeping most of the weight on your forearms you don't need extra it's just for me I feel to protect yourself your neck and your spine rather keep the majority of the weight here than rather here okay tip of the day um, now the tip I want to give you for forehead um, for headstand is um, what I do is when you clasp your hands instead of having the pinky fingers um, on top of it each other to balance I, I shift them and I put them next to each other so both of them are on the floor um, and hugged against my head um, I feel that makes a difference uh, I don't know maybe it won't for you but I feel like that little um, instead of stacking them placing the pinky pinkies next to each other it's got a better base for me to um, press on so try it out see what works for you down here and take it easy um, practice it slowly and have fun and keep safe do it safely so thank you so much for watching and um, if you learned something from this video uh, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up and hit the like button Ariyom Tatsat